Okay, so let's take a minute to review some of these treats. So let's just take a look at this first one here. Lots of advertising across the front. And then right. So vegetable glycerin, we really don't want to see that. It's got tomato and potato. We've got gelatin, which is always a bad sign. That's, um, you know, not the same quality gelatin that's used um, in human preparations like Jello, but it comes from the same place. You know, it's rendered animal pieces. Let's take a look at another one. it's bison supposedly oh look chickpeas peas vegetable glycerin tapioca honey right so that's just straight up sugar on your dog's teeth bison is way down here on the list sorry I'm trying to make it so there's no glare anybody who's watched my videos you know how much I despise natural flavor that is a loophole where they can put whatever ingredients they want to. Here's this one. So it's a jerky wrapped in a rawhide. So we know this is bad, right? Because it's rawhide. But let's just see. Look, they're back here talking about healthy dog chews. This product is intended for occasional use. Yes, well, it, it shouldn't be intended for any kind of use ever. Here's another one. Edible and digestible. So let's take a look at the ingredients. Corn gluten meal, rice, peanut meal. This has got that dreaded carrageenan in it. Brewer's yeast. The thing is, if it was just one of these ingredients, like if it was just rice flour, right? Then it wouldn't be so bad if it had some other ingredients like herring oil or... Um, you know, if they use the powdered cellulose to form it into the piece. But the problem is it's so much all in one treat or one bone that it becomes too much. Here's these. Oh, look, this is made with real wood. Well, that's a great idea. Okay, that's sarcasm, just in case you didn't know. Look at that. No ingredients. Look at this. Small parts may be broken and eaten by a pet and could present a choking hazard or a gastrointestinal blockage risk. Look at that. That should be required on all of these. So, as you can see, this whole made with natural wood pressed into the form of a stick thing is very popular. I mean, look at these. Look at this one. This one is shaped like a pig's ear. Like, and, and feel that. I mean, that is like, that is seriously hard plastic. Look, there's more down there. They're, they're everywhere. Look, you can't get away from them. 
for the toughest chewers. But if your dog eats a chunk of this, so it's non-toxic, non-allergenic, non-edible, then if it's non-edible, why is your dog chewing it? Remove from pet if damaged. Then, then why is it allowed to be on the market? That's the part that I don't understand. Let's take a look at this one because I haven't seen this one before. Same thing. I mean... It's crazy. Look at this one. This one really looks like a stick. I, I just don't think you're you're setting your dog up for success if that's the type of thing that that you're gonna give them to chew on. Here, let me move this out of the way. Everybody loves to feed these, right? The greenies. So let's take a look at those ingredients. I mean, look at this ingredient list. Wheat flour, wheat gluten, gelatin, powdered cellulose. I mean, just right off the bat, this is an allergy in a bone. I mean, all of those are inflammatory ingredients. No wonder there are so many cases of dogs that eat one of those and then have severe diarrhea. All right, let's keep looking around. Okay, let's take a look at these. And these are biscuits, so I know that they're going to be bad. Oatmeal, barley, oat flour, yogurt. Okay, yogurt's good, apple's good, flaxseed is good. Cane molasses, why? I mean, I know why. They're using it as a sweetener, but uh, I mean... Dogs don't need sugar in their biscuits, right? You know, pet owners wonder how it is that their dogs need all this dental work. Oh boy. And there's sugar in the biscuits. Look at this. Meat and bone meal. You notice it doesn't say specifically which animal it is. That's what I'm posting about in the Facebook group all the time, trying to make people aware. I mean, the people buy these for their dogs all the time. And it doesn't even say what kind of meat or bone meal it is. It could be roadkill, right? Those animals are rendered in the same facilities as, um, you know, diseased livestock. I mean, that's, that's what's going into these biscuits. That's what that means when they don't have to say what it is. It's just meat. Very scary. Let's look at this one over here. Okay, this one's touting that it's limited ingredient organic let's take a look at the ingredients organic cane molasses again why does your dog need to eat sugar it doesn't matter that there's no corn no wheat no soy it, it's basically got sugar in it let's keep looking okay so if you take a look and everything on this wall. Okay, side note. Do not give your puppy rope toys. I mean, look at the just the strings coming off of there. That is just that is an intestinal tie-up emergency vet visit just waiting to happen. Okay, so back on track. So of all these bones and treats, you see all this? I just went through all of these. 
there are exactly two that I would feed. Okay, so the only two of these that I would feed, yes, I saw it. The only two of these that I would feed are down here at the bottom. I put them together. So the cow hoofs, which you have to be careful because aggressive chewers can really um, take bigger chunks off of them. So I, I don't recommend them for bigger dogs. Um, also, side note, they have a tendency to smell really bad. And then these sweet potato fries because they're just sweet potato.